Hey guys, it's Maddie. We thought we'd continue our 100 Years of Trucking series with a follow-up video. Trucking is quickly changing with technology and legislation. In this video, we'll review some of the upcoming advancements and changes that could occur in the 2020s and beyond. But before we dive in, we have a special announcement for you folks. We recently hit 20K subscribers, a milestone we never thought we'd reach. We love making truck videos just as much as you guys love watching them. Recently, we've made the switch to releasing two videos a week instead of our regular one. Because of our growth, we've also added extra staff and equipment to help expedite video production. If you've enjoyed our videos this far and you'd like to help us create even more videos, please join our Patreon community by visiting patreon.com slash show. Those of you who become patrons will be treated to our newest video series, Trucking Culture. The first episode features everyone's favorite trucking movie, Smokey and the Bandit, and will be released on Patreon only on May 1st. Those who join will also receive free decals, t-shirts, and truck posters. More details are coming in next Friday's video, but for those interested in helping us grow the channel and create more truck videos, please visit thepatreon.com slash Jack's Chrome Show link in the description and join our community. Let's get back to trucking in the future. Trucking changed so much during the 2010s and a lot of the advancements during that time will most certainly be continued into the 2020s and beyond. For instance, the push towards automation and increased efficiency will continue in the coming decades. Autonomous trucks have been on the horizon for what seems like decades, but how close are these autonomous trucks? It's hard to say, but some estimates point towards the 2030s when autonomous trucks will officially hit the road in mass. But before we get into the fully autonomous part of this video, let's first cover some of the upcoming models you'll see with the driver behind the wheel. Both Peterbilt and Kenworth have a long history of creating legendary rigs for their customers. Though these machines make for great show trucks, Packard tends to keep their model lines for quite some time without significant updates. For instance, the W900 series has been in production for nearly 60 years. With the release of Kenworth's new flagship model, the W990, in 2019, it's almost guaranteed that Packard has their eyes set on refreshing and redesigning their Peterbilt Long Nose series soon. There have been rumors around the industry for years speculating when Peterbilt will release their new flagship, but many sources expect it to be within the next couple of years. Tesla made a huge splash on November 16, 2017, when owner Elon Musk revealed their futuristic Tesla Semi design. The completely electric Semi project is being led by Jerome Goulin, former Daimler executive and head developer of the Freightliner Cascadia truck program. The futuristic-looking Tesla Semi has claimed a range of 500 miles on a single charge and can accelerate from 0 to 60 in 5 seconds without a load. Though the concept of the Tesla Semi was released in 2017, testing and other production delays pushed the build date back to quarter 4 of 2020. As of April 2018, Several Fortune 500 companies, including Walmart, Pepsi, Anheuser-Busch, FedEx, Cisco, UPS, DHL, Meyer, and Ryder, have all reserved initial units of the Tesla Semi. The truck will go on sale during quarter four of this year at a price around $150,000, or you can get the premium Founders Series Tesla for $200,000. A major sticking point for early adopters of the Tesla truck is the availability of charging stations. Truck stops can be found at just about every exit on the interstate highway system, each one carrying thousands of gallons of diesel fuel. For the Tesla Semi to be able to travel freely throughout the country, it will need a similar network of Tesla charging stations to keep the truck running. Another roadblock could be the time it takes to charge the Semi. Many believe that Tesla semis will take eight plus hours of charging before they can be put back into service. Another such future truck is the Nikola One. A competitor to the Tesla semi, 
This hydrogen fuel cell powered truck was originally projected to release in 2020 with a 1200 mile range. Since then, Nikola has released a second version of the truck called the Nikola 2, which has a more modest range claim of 500 to 750 miles and is powered by a hybrid hydrogen fuel cell system. Nikola has projected a release date of 2022 for the Nikola 2 trucks. Nikola addressed some of the criticism leveled at Tesla in their Nikola 2 truck by including, Refueling the hydrogen truck will take just 15 minutes at any of the 700 hydrogen refueling stations that Nikola has promised to build. As rates for shipping and driver's pay have declined over time, solutions to the problem have popped up. Fewer and fewer men and women are willing to live with the lifestyle trade-offs and lower pay. Because of this, an ever-increasing driver shortage began developing during the 2010s and will continue to increase through the 2020s. One solution to the driver shortage that has been proposed is automation and limiting or removing the driver from the cab altogether. The problem many autonomous trucks have a hard time with is constantly changing road conditions and unexpected events. It is just simply too difficult for a computer to navigate through heavy traffic, construction zones, or unexpected obstacles on the road. Though many autonomous truck companies are trying to work through these issues, it may be the case that a driver will always be needed, possibly only for city driving and docking. Though at the current moment, autonomous trucks are not fully functional, many tech companies worked tirelessly in the 2010s to develop and test autonomous technologies. In fact, in 2016, Uber Freight and Anheuser-Busch transported 45,000 cans of Budweiser beer over 120 miles with no driver behind the wheel at any point during the trip. Though this short trip was proof of concept, it certainly does not mean that autonomous trucks are ready for the road. A more recent test in late 2019 by tech startup Plus AI is being called the first commercial freight cross-country trip by an autonomous truck. The 2,800-mile journey from Tuller, California to Quakertown, Pennsylvania for Landa Lakes took under three days and was smooth, just like its cargo. A driver and trip engineer were present during the drive just in case, but it was stated that there were no interruptions during the entirety of the drive, though many stops had to be made during the trip for technical or testing purposes. There is still plenty of work to be done for the truck driver. Clearly, autonomous technologies are still way off and the competitive nature of the transportation industry demands more and more drivers every year. As we move into the 2020s and coming decades, we are hopeful for the trucking industry and excited to see new faces and technologies. Thank you all so much for watching this decade of our new series, 100 Years of Trucking, Trucking in the Future. Before you leave, make sure you like the video, check out the other videos on our channel, and subscribe. We have finally reached our goal of 20k subscribers, so thank you all so much for your support for the show. Next stop, 50k. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything else you'd like to talk to us about, please be sure to tune into the live podcast, The Chrome Corner, Wednesdays at noon Eastern Standard Time, and join Maddie and Dave as they answer viewers' questions and discuss all things Chrome. If you'd like to stay up to date with the new projects we have coming, please follow us at Jack's Chrome Show on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We still have our Truck History shirts available on our website at jackschromeshow.com, so please be sure to check them out. Save stacks on stacks at jackschromeshop.com with the all-new Roadworks exhaust kits for Peterbilt and Kenworth trucks. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next week, and remember guys, if your rig don't shine, you don't know Jack. Mm -hmm.